Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so we're going to be changing the oil here on the uh, Subaru EX21 and uh, ran it for a little bit. Power wash something real quick and uh, just to get it hot because to be honest I know it's been a while since I've changed the oil on this thing uh, probably a couple of years but yeah I probably only use it about 10 hours a year maybe less some years I get power washing jobs this year I'm thinking about doing some more power washing work and uh, I lost it So, uh, I'm changing the oil here. Open up some of these dipsticks. No, it's not horrible, but. Get the other side. Probably about uh, seven years ago, seven, eight years ago, uh, this thing had sat for a while and used it. And so I called our uh, home mechanic and we said, hey, and I wasn't doing much fixing it at the time. I was still real really young, didn't know how to do anything. So he came out, got it running, and then basically use it ever since but then um oh a couple years ago uh, i think it's back during covid uh, the carburetor went out on it and so uh It's a 9 16 bolt. Make sure it's nice and snug. Not too snug, just snug. I'm close this side back up. Yeah, it's been a pretty good power. It's been a really good power washer. Really reliable. Um, I still got an Amazon carburetor on it right now and it's been working just fine. I realized though the other day I hadn't run it in a while and so I said well I've got a bunch of power washing to do so I power washed all my lawn equipment and uh, I don't know maybe come uh, a couple weeks here I might try to pick up a couple power washing jobs or see if I can uh, get out and do some work like that. Is it pretty fun? Something I haven't done in a while, but that's why I'm gonna pick it back up again. Let my customers know that I do it. That's a little bit tricky to uh, get the oil in there, but it's about 20 ounces. And you wanna go to uh, the bottom of the threads basically and uh, even on this dipstick you're gonna want it all the way up but that dipstick doesn't even matter where you're supposed to have it even in the bucket right down at the bottom of the threads that's how these little uh, uh, horizontal uh, engines work I mean there's there's a lot of different uh, places these engines are used not even these little Subaru EX 21s this is some 10W30 here. Let me check, see how much I use.
Yep, that's it. I'm gonna have to wipe up all the oil, but it's usually messy when I do this one. But uh, yeah, the, the only thing about these is uh, air filters can be a little bit difficult to find. But uh, my mechanic called him a while back, and he, he uh, the filter was original. And, uh, And it had disintegrated, so we said, "Can you cut? Do you, can you make another one?" So we had some foam, and he cut out a piece. You can kind of see it's oddly shaped, and it's about that thick. And so it's been fine ever since. I probably have to order a new filter before too long, because that's been a while, and it won't be too long before we'll have to replace that one again. And, uh, yeah, let's see how that oil looks. Not too bad. It's, it's, uh, there's no sludge in it. This pan is outside. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's not horrible. There's a little bit of you can tell there's some gas in there and it's kind of dirty but anyways guys that's that that's the oil change on there another thing i do here and there is uh make sure that this is topped off with oil and i just uh used it and topped it off but it should be fine yeah yeah it's fine yeah just make sure that stays uh lubricated keep the seals good where there's oil yes i really like this little power washer it's it's good it's 3100 psi 2.7 gallons per minute it's pretty good so anyways guys that's that not blabbering we'll talk guys later bye